Obviously, you know what this video is about from the title. I have a TV show on SABC3 every week, a gaming show. That's... I don't get it. Rigorous, rigorous, rigorous. Hey. Can't game looking rigorous. Look my champagne, but I'm rigorous. Look my campaign looking rigorous. Look Whole team hella rigorous. Lifestyle so rigorous. What? Hairstyle so rigorous. Hey. The top five ain't rigorous. If you left out this rigorous. So growing up, I was always kind of obsessed with TV presenters. I always thought they were the coolest things since sliced bread. From Yo TV to E Entertainment, I I always just thought that it would be really cool to have a job like that. But I never really thought that I was going to do. It. I remember the first TV interview I ever got was back in Cape Town. Um, I was on like a morning show and Ukanye Mbao was the presenter of that show along with Fat Joe. And I remember getting there just being so anxious, like feeling like I should not be there. I remember the other guy who was being interviewed that day was like a, a big um, actor on one of these SABC shows. I just felt like I didn't belong. And I remember Ukanye Mbao sort of sat me down and she was like, chill, relax, uh, we're chatting, it's like a normal conversation. I've got you covered. We'll we'll just be talking like we're old friends. I just I'll I'll never forget that moment because as much as it was my first TV interview, it was also my first time actually being in a space with somebody doing that job and also doing it as well as we know Kanye Bao is an exceptional TV presenter. That day I actually, um, I took a, a Uber from Rez because I was like, I'm gonna treat myself. My first TV interview, I'm not gonna take a taxi to town. I'm gonna take a Uber, get there nice and early. So I'm currently on my way to do something super, super cool. I'm doing my first TV interview, um, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, <laughs> that was my Uber ride, which dropped me off at the wrong place, so I have to do a little bit of a walk. I'm a little bit late, so I'm going to keep it moving. Excited to show you guys what it's going to be like. And I think I did tell Kanye um, at that point. I was like, yo, your job is so cool. I wish I could do it one day. And she was like, you're already doing it on YouTube. You're presenting your own show. That was the first time I actually kind of realized in the moment that I was actually preparing myself for what I'm doing right now. I, unknowingly, I didn't realize, okay? But it turns out talking on YouTube and talking on TV, not actually very different. I don't know if I had moved to Joburg already. I think I had um, when I got the interview at Anela Show. What was Anela Show called again? I just completely forgot. Anela Show on SABC3, um, I remember got invited there with a couple of other like bloggers and vloggers. And even in that interview, I hope I can find the clip. There's a part where I think I told that I wanted my own show and then she told me to look in the camera and act like it was my own show and how would I introduce it and so I did and it was like a, a funny little laugh that we had but little did she know that one day I was gonna get my own TV show on SABC3 too. And welcome back to Real Talk on SABC3 where the stage is yours. My next guest to guest Twitter bio reads, I make videos for the internet. Last year I received recognition as one of the youngsters who are on the up and up when it comes to YouTube personalities. You know oh really? Well I maybe do a vlog about can that. Can I look at my, can I look at a camera? Yes, Where do I look, look at a camera. Can look I look at, at that, that camera? Yeah. Okay. So we'll start like this. So they'll Don't be swear. Uh, no, no, no. I know you people on YouTube are foul. Never. So I'll look at the camera and I'll be like, hello, my name is Sibun Banza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have an interview with Anele and you know what? I woke up and I was freaking out but you know what i made it at the end of the day because that's what sibu does fast forward to 2018 i get an offer from sabc1 to be on the real gobozi and that was my actual introduction into TV presenting. And thank God that's what it was because I wasn't like the main presenter, I was a field presenter. So I got to watch and learn quite a bit, which is honestly the perfect way. I wouldn't have wanted my career to go any other way. As an only child, people from big families always told me that the more the merrier. And since RGB is by far the merriest, September song is again to some more gossiping bodies to the team. Making their TV debut, we are proud to introduce two new family members. Yes. RGB friends and family, say hello to and uh, celebs. Please prepare to fear. Roxanne and Sibu. Yeah, hello. hello. All right, well, first of all, Sibu. Well done for actually making it onto real television eventually. I knew it was coming. I know, yeah. I know. I mean, it's a thing. Standard. Shots fired in the very first <laughs> round. Two seconds in. Two seconds in. So yeah, I was really happy that I got to do it at Urban Brew because they were a really wonderful production company and I learned so much and they were so like 
nice to me and calm and and patient also so it was really great to learn from there i won't lie though watching the two main presenters i was always like man that is so amazing i can't wait till i have my own show where they're gonna give me my own earpiece and i know it sounds ridiculous to just want an earpiece but like that's what kind of set the the main presenters from like the field presenters we wouldn't get earpieces because we didn't need them there was no need you know but if you're a main presenter you're on the the set you're sitting there you need an earpiece to be able to hear the director the producer the floor manager everybody the first day that we shot this tv show and we got our earpieces i was just smiling from ear to ear i I, I couldn't believe that this thing that I'd sort of spoken about and thought about and was like, oh, one day I'm going to have my own earpiece. And I actually, I actually got it. I actually got it. And the guy was like, left ear or right ear? And I was like, ah, ah. He was like, Sibu, left ear or right ear? I was like, okay, I, I forgot that people, these people have been doing it for a long time and I'm just fooling around. And I was like, right ear. So that was probably one of the biggest highlights for me. You know, it wasn't just becoming a TV presenter. It wasn't getting my own set. Uh, it was it was getting an earpiece. So the show that I have on SABC3 is called VS Gaming Weekly. It's a gaming show where we talk about tournaments, we talk about the latest games, games that we love, games that other people love, games that just came out, games that have been around for a while. It is literally my dream. Imagine the first show that you get. One, you get to do it about gaming, the thing that I love the most, the thing that just warms my heart and keeps my mental health in the right place. Because without gaming, let me tell you guys, so it's one thing to actually have a TV show about gaming in South Africa. It's another thing that I got to do it with one of my best friends, OK Wasabi. I remember calling him saying, dude, we got this gig. We have to do this gig. We've never, ever presented together. George has presented his own TV shows. I've presented on my own TV shows. We've never presented a TV show together. And what makes it even better is that a few years ago, I had this idea to start a gaming YouTube channel. And I remember telling George about it and he was like, dude, let's do this together. And I just thought that is the best thing that could ever happen to me. It's one thing for me to do it myself. It's another thing to get one of my best friends to do it with me. Three years later, it might even be four, but three years later, we get to put our gaming love and knowledge on national television. Before I end off this video though, I want to say thank you to you guys. That was honestly the main point of this video. It would be incredibly dishonest of me to not talk about the role that you guys have played as viewers and as advocates of me um, in becoming who I am, in being where I am. There are so many different ways that you guys have helped me without even realizing um, whether it's a view in a video or a comment or a tweet or an Instagram story, whether it's you telling your roommate at Res to come watch this guy on YouTube or telling your, your boss at work who's looking for YouTubers that there's this YouTuber that you watch who would be perfect for the job. I just want you guys to know that I do not take you for granted. I don't take the love that you show me for granted. I don't take the wonderful words that you say to me all the time for granted. I, I don't take the DMs for granted. I don't reply to every single DMs because there's too many of them, but it's a wonderful problem to have. It's a beautiful problem that I get too many compliments that I can't respond to all of them. Okay, I'm not gonna make your head it's too big that you can't walk out of your own front doors but uh, yeah I just wanted to say thank you this is amazing hopefully this is the first of many it's not my first TV gig obviously but my first one where I am I am the main character me and my best friend are the main character thank you guys so much for watching this video I'll see you very soon with another one I love you from the bottom of my heart catch me on SABC 3 6 p.m. every Wednesday let's let's make it a party wow